you already referenced Jerry Dulac, the uh, offensive line woes that helped give an incomplete grade for Mike Tomlin to evaluate the quarterback situation. The first preseason game in which Russ didn't play, there were fumbled snaps that marred an evaluation of Justin Fields. For that one, now we need hear Nate Herbig um, might is going for a second opinion on what appears to be a torn rotator cuff. Uh, so that would put what a, a, a rookie from West Virginia under center. I mean, for as the center for Russell Wilson in Week One, is that is that what's happening right now? Jerry? That's ex- it's exactly that's exactly what's happening, Rich. I mean, the best case for Nate Herbig is, you know, is he's not lost for the season but he's going to be out for an extended period uh, regardless based on what I'm told. So um, uh, if he's going for a second opinion, I don't know how that's going to change anything. I can't speak to that, but um, you know, that when you have a torn rotator, uh, what, what would be the best case scenario after much rest? Uh, so yeah, it's not only a rookie center too, Rich, you know, Troy Fatanu, their, their number one pick, he was going to be their starting right tackle against Buffalo, and he was going to stay there. Their plan is he is already their starting right tackle. I've been told by the coaches they believe he's their second-best offensive lineman already, which is a bit of a heady statement, and I assume that means behind Isaac Ciamalo. So now you have uh, a right a rookie at right tackle, and you have a rookie at center, and in all likelihood you're going to have a second-year tackle on, on the left side. Part of the problem is in the first game, uh, Troy Fatano gave up two sacks, and and uh, the other night against Buffalo, man, uh, Broderick Jones got just manhandled by Greg Rousseau on three separate plays, two of which resulted in sacks. So it's funny that their two number one pick tackles are the ones who have been exposed in in uh, protection hmm. when they've been in there. But, I mean, so, yeah, they're they're looking at a couple rookies in Atlanta, if uh, Tanu's back, which they expect him to be. And, um, yeah, that's going to, you know, there's going to be a little bit of a transition there. They like all those players. Obviously, they like them big time. Um, but, you know, you're still deal- dealing with rookies and newcomers in the lineup. Yeah, you're, Zach Frazier is the rookie from uh, West Virginia, second rounder. Right. And Fatano is at least the one that they were expecting to use. Um, and now Jalen Warren is hurt significantly for a few weeks. This is a multiple-week injury for him. Well, sure. ha- yeah, hammy, ha- hamstring, Rich. And, you know, when I say it's a typical hamstring injury, it's not a bad one, but it's a hamstring injury, and that's usually a couple weeks, you know, and so he won't play this week, and then there's two weeks after that. So in all likelihood, he should be ready for Atlanta. Okay. And if he isn't, certainly week two in Denver. But it's not a uh, – I've been told it's not a serious hamstring injury. So um, the line – like if you sodium pentothal, the coaching staff right now, Jerry, the line is more concerning to them than the quarterback room right now. I, probably because of injuries, um, you know, losing Nate Herbig with all due respect to Nate, it doesn't hurt their starting unit. What it does is it hurts their depth because right. this was a guy who's their first guard off the bench. And of course then would be the first center off the bench. Um, but um you know, when you, uh, you know, Broderick Jones on the first day of contact at camp on the very first play uh, somehow hurt his elbow and he's never missed a, I don't think he's ever missed a practice since, but he's playing with the big brace on his, uh, on his arm, on his right arm, protecting that elbow. And I don't know how much that is harming him in, in protection. Obviously it's not harming him enough that he can't play. Um, so um, yeah, I, I think, you know, when they see that, look, it's not, you know, it's not cause for alarm, but there's no question you can't ignore it. It has to be a little cause for some amount of concern because they're young players. Roderick Jones, though, started eight games at right tackle last year. They saw what this guy can do. And all along, they've even publicly said they want him at left tackle. So with Fatanu at right tackle, now all of a sudden it's Broderick Jones and Dan Moore, who's been the left tackle since day one of his rookie season. Um, they are going to, going to, quote, battle it out on the left side. But, Rich, after Broderick Jones, their number one pick, 14th overall, started 11 games last year, there's no way they're putting him back on a bench. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 